Hey guys, how's it going today? I uh, hope everybody's doing good. Today I got some Volcanion giveaways and I got some information on Necomon and a little demo for you. So I really hope you enjoy this episode today. Let's get it started. Okay, so if your name is on the screen, that means you won the last Volcanion giveaway. It's a 6IV legal event, Volk. And just leave a comment with your IGN and friend code. And then add my friend code, which is in the description below. And then I will trade you your winnings. If you like this video, if you leave a comment and you're subscribed, I'm going to be giving out another handful of these mighty 6IV beasts. These fiery, watery, steamy, lovey-dovey pokies. Um, so yeah, just do that and you'll have a chance to win. Also, check out my uh, Twitter page and Facebook page, which are linked in the description because there's going to be giveaways uh, on those accounts too. So you'll have you know, multiple ways to enter into the giveaway. And if you made it this far into the video, which is probably less than a minute, uh, we're going to move on now to the uh, Necomon demo. So um, this is an app that I've been working on for almost a year now. I basically cut out uh, doing all my streams and the amount of videos I put out was a lot less for the past year just so I could work on this. You might be wondering why did it take a year to make an app? Well, um, I built this thing from the ground up so it's it doesn't use any... I don't know how to even say this. I built like the whole interface from the ground up I borrowed some code for, you know, open source stuff for PKM creation, but I had to write it all, all the server code for generating Pokemon, the ways it shares, and the way the app works. I mean, this is a big project for one person, so I hope you can understand why it would t take so long. This is going to be the first release, so there's some stuff in it that might look a little old. As you can see uh, on the app, there's a RAM to save option. Uh, I doubt many people are going to have any use for that anymore. It's going to be in the first uh, version or two. I'll probably end up getting rid of it and adding some other useful features. But for now, that's what we got. Um, so let's talk about this app a little bit. Um, so I just recently finished the last few major bugs and features that I wanted to have in the first installment. The first version that I'm going to release is going to be on iOS only. There is an Android and uh, Amazon app version coming too, but the first beta is going to be on iOS, which will be on uh, iPhones and iPads, stuff like that. Um, the beta, it's technically a closed beta, so if you are in my circle, you might, I might have already informed you that you're going to be able to test this. Um, technically it's technically it's not a beta because I have to submit it to the store um, the reason I'm doing that is on first submission of apps to the app store there's some things you can't include in your apps so I'm going to have this priced at nine dollars ninety nine cents for the beta obviously that's optional nobody has to pay that if you really really want to you can and um, you can opt in for that if you didn't get like a ticket or whatever and the good thing is if you do opt in just a bonus that I'm giving is all the in-app purchases besides themes are gonna be unlocked uh, right from the beginning if you end up getting the beta so then when the new release comes out the price is gonna drop significantly drop but you'll still have everything uh, unlocked okay so I'll go ahead and real quick if you haven't ever seen the app um, it's a Pokemon creator app and it's gonna have an event database some Pokemon storage and some Pokedex it's just gonna be like a bunch of useful tools but the the main part of it is the creator so I'll go ahead and open this up and let's see so when you come into the creator you'll be able to pick a Pokemon Let's just choose like an Alakazam or something. And depending on, uh, basically, the default set to legal mode. So the 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 most 
crucial point of this editor compared to others is it tries to keep it legal without you having to do anything so you don't have to run any checks or anything to make sure so everything you have the ability to access you can just edit till your heart's content and you don't have to worry about it being legal the idea is you just open pick a pokemon and everything you have access to you just edit the way you want and it's going to be legal just like ha if you would hatch it or catch it in the game depending on the pokemon and how our database is set up there's going to be different options like so for alakazam we have option for hatched and transferred i'm not going to get into too specific uh in this guide but as you can see you can like go in change move one so the first option is all so you can see all the legal moves if you just want to sort by level egg transfer uh, tutor or TM moves you can uh, if you're not sure what a move does you can just click this little pokedex icon and it'll bring up the info a short little brief info about the typing and what it does and stuff um, there's the hidden power tool you can easily if you want to set something to like hidden power uh, bug there's some various options for that You can see the hidden power based on the IVs you have set. You can individually set the EVs, or you can use some presets. I might add some more presets. These are the ones that we have. I have for now. Uh, another feature besides just being able to build Pokemon is the built-in strategy database. And right now, this is currently only using uh, builds from Smogon. I would like to expand this to include stuff from right now I don't know but maybe make a website where people can submit strategies and builds and rate them and maybe integrate some of those into the app as well for now it's all small gone builds you can see small gone builds from the current gen or if you want to even look at past gen uh, builds you can check those out too if there is for example like on small gone sometimes it'll have like a move or ability or a nature and it'll be a couple options that you may want to choose uh, I've built in integrations so if there are multiple options on a build you can you'll be able to swap it before you apply the build by just clicking on it if you want to read the full strategy and then there'll be a link at the bottom of this to uh, small gone if you want to go to their website if you like the build you just click apply and then that build will be applied directly to the Pokemon so you're probably most interested in how you get the Pokemon so this is the beta and it's the first release and I'm sorry this is some of the stuff in this is are things that I worked on you know months and months ago so the two the two methods that are gonna be out at the beginning are one's a little outdated I know it's generate QR code so you click generate well I can't do it on this demo because it's on my computer but you can generate a QR code and if you have a 2DS or 3DS with the proper version of browser you can just uh, import it directly into your game using the QR code uh, always rem keep in mind if anybody needs uh, 2DS consoles if you like the QR code method which is probably the fastest for just injecting one Pokemon quickly. Uh, Pokeedit.com, my website. We usually have them for sale. They go in and out of stock. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll post when we get new stock in. Uh, they usually run out of stock pretty quick, but uh, we try to. I try to keep them in as much as I can. It's, you know, it's sometimes tough to find units uh, on that firmware and browser, but we do our best. Um, the other method is download PK6 so if you click that it's going to generate a unique URL it's a it'll be fairly short it's a a four digit URL dot co and then it'll be slash like a couple little digits so you can copy and paste it and once you create the URL so if you build a Pokemon and you create it and you create the PK6 file now that, that generates a URL the reason I don't it says download PK6 you can't download non-image files on an iOS device unfortunately so 
Um, Android you can but the, the, you wouldn't be able to use it anyway but it generates a URL and you can put that URL into a computer you can share that URL with someone who who can hack Pokemon and use different various methods for getting those onto their game and they can trade it to you and that URL never goes away so you'll always be able to access it so the other cool thing is if if you do if, if you build something and you want to hold on to the particular build you can use kits PC which is a storage unit inside of the app so if you build a Pokemon and you click save to kits PC that'll save there and then you can open up kits PC right now currently the I have six boxes of uh, available slots I'm going to be increasing that um, to probably closer I think the beta is still going to have 180. I'm going to try to raise it to about 930, so you'll be able to store, you know, a lot of Pokemon on here. And when you add one, if you <laughs> anyway, you can just add it here. If you want to see all the details for it, you can click details, and you'll be able to see all the details. If you did generate a URL already for the Pokemon, it'll always be stored in here. So if you're like, oh crap, I forgot. My Al that Alakazam I built, what was the URL to get it? You just come in here and look at it. It'll always be there. Right now it says null because we haven't made one yet. But and it'll tell you what version of the app that you created it on and a lot of other info. And you'll be able to get even more info on the download page. Another thing that's cool. So, yeah, in addition to being able to create Pokemon, store them, and those two methods I said, there's a new method it'll be coming out I I'm guessing within three or four weeks maybe less after the launch of the beta and it's going to be an injection method uh, that involves using homebrew so you'll need to have access to homebrew on your device but there'll be a Necomon app and then you can build Pokemon in here and you'll be able to inject them directly from the creator or from kits PC you'll be able to inject between 1 and 30 Pokemon at a time directly into your game if you can use homebrew on your 2ds or 3ds awesome if you need guides on that remember I have got plenty of guides on it and if you don't want to deal with anything you can always buy one from Poketit it supports me and then you'll have a unit that you can do you know inject Pokemon into your game with and then on your other uh, 3ds you can play the game you know because these Pokemon will be legal Okay, a couple other things. Um, so here's the event database. I'm not going to go in there, but the idea is to ha eventually have every single event in this database. And this is kind of stock info on here. It's going to have hundreds of hundreds of events. You'll be able to sort by language or the gen that it comes up on. Click on it. You can view all the information about the event. Um, and you can configure the event if you want you can choose usually the the events have uh, random natures but if you want you can specifically choose exactly what you want so you could even max out the IVs you can set EVs I'm go I possibly I'm gonna add other available configurations depending on what's legal for events but you get the picture if the Pokemon um, also you will we'll have a link here to get the uh, WC6 or WC6 full file which will link to the website if you want to download the corresponding file for that Pokemon as well so the idea essentially is to have just a complete database at the beginning it won't be complete but if you do get the event database in the app it you don't it'll always just be updated and you won't have to worry about it so and especially any new events will always be in there older ones we might have to track down, but we'll end up getting this thing absolutely complete. A lot of these will be available on the Necromon website, too, for those of you who are wondering. A couple other things. Uh, Poketit QR, I know this is a little outdated, but a lot of the stuff Poketit QR did on the website is just in the app for free. Just box cloner, item code generators, um, QR learner, if you want to learn your secret ID, stuff like that. If for those of you who can use QR codes, that's just all in the app for free. It's just in there. Uh, Dexes. You can 
go through and look at moves abilities and items and get a little bit more in-depth uh, information about what they do if you want to look something up that way you don't have to pull up a website or another app you can just open it in here and go get it quick um, remember I showed you in the creator some stuff like just for example held item um, it will give you just the uh, the basic info on it in here directly if you want to look at it but if you want more detail you just come to this dex info we might end I might end up expanding this section but that's what it is for now and then there's RAM to save which if you don't know what that is I mean it is what it is it's in there uh, you can okay so I'll just talk a couple more things about the app that I'll talk about so you can set um, a profile you can have multiple profiles um, and basically you just put in your trader name your trainer ID secret ID you can put your friend code in different things and you can set these so you can have multiple um, you can have multiple profiles I, I forgot what the I think up to six I'll pro I can probably make that larger if we want so if you have a couple different games with different info um, you can you can add multiple right so then you can just select the profile for a different game and it says name me that's my name but you'll put your name there and then when you when you once you've set up your default whatever you have selected it'll just automatically insert that information into the uh, OT data for your game this will be important also the app uh, the homebrew app is going to have a way to connect to this uh, to give you your secret fill in your secret ID for you for those of you who don't know how to get that uh, the homebrew app will have a way to automatically get that for you and insert it because you, you'll want to have that um, other stuff is so you might be wondering what the potatoes and hamburger are so the hamburger is just basically your settings you can set up a default region if you want to set it so it always loads a certain region when you build a Pokemon in the creator you can change the language to Japanese Spanish or English uh, there's a variety of different themes I'll probably make more my favorite currently is the citrus fruit so I'll go ahead and change to that and okay so and then I'm not gonna there'll be add-ons right now wait it says yeah this is the beta so you have everything unlocked okay so um, this potato option fried potatoes this is basically just updates now these these aren't real updates I just put in text for these but so this is a basically a way for me to communicate with people that have the app um, so you'll get this little see I just read everything so now it's blank but if it has a number in here that shows how many unread messages you have in here and so if I find a bug or there's an update coming soon or any kind of or some new events that are going to be added this is just a way for me to notify people that have the app that something's wrong or something's good or bad and you'll be able to get up-to-date status updates right here in the fried potatoes I think that's a easy way for me to communicate to people like you know bugs happen shit happens what are you gonna do uh, also in uh, the update section I can potentially send out uh, Pokemon so if we have special Pokemon we want to give or events come out and I, I'd have to possibly update the editor for the new events are available but if I want to send them out in a message like this I can send it send out a Pokemon and then you can add it from the news update to kits PC and then you'll be able to get it so like I just added that skiddy directly from the updates so that's just a basic run through of what the app does now and what it's going to do in the near future. I got big plans for this thing. We're going to be working on new injection methods. I'm going to be adding some other tools in here, some homebrew stuff that shows, like keeps track of what homebrew versions work on what version. So you don't have to go Googling and researching. You can just look at it on here and check your firmware and, and you'll be able to see a list of like everything that you can do with the app um, 
what else do we got um yeah there's a lot of stuff brewing so this is the groundwork i do for people with questions you might be wondering like is this going to be compatible with sun and moon i have a feeling i'm going to be able to do that high probability and who knows by the time pokemon sun and moon come out uh there might be some really cool injection methods available that may require homebrew may not maybe homebrew will be easier but um, if you don't know I've been saying homebrew a lot. if you don't know what that is you should check my other videos or maybe I should just make a video guide talking about like what exactly that means some people might not get it but remember if you don't get it and you can't do all the fancy stuff to get homebrew and do it on your own we do have units for sale on pokeedit.com there's a link in the description that supports me and you could you know use Necomon or PK Hex or anything else that's out there all right guys sorry I'm a little bit monotone I'm trying to be quiet it's like 1 a.m. here it's kind of late so I just wanted to get this video out to you guys ASAP so anyway see you later sayonara and uh keep it keep it keep it keep it keep it what keep it sleazy greasy keep it good a very good oh oh one more thing i got uh i'm gonna be doing streams on twitch again pretty soon too and youtube uh so i have all the links in the description if you want to follow me on twitch twitter facebook and stuff uh, i recommend doing that and also there'll be giveaways and stuff I got so much more I want to say about Necomon. I should do it in the morning where I can be more boisterous with my voice and, and, and have more fun with it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Until next time. See ya.